So hands up all those who agree with Tom. So there we are. Let me remind you that this week on Davenport's Dilemmas, we're dealing with divorce. Now, Leslie, uh, Leslie, your husband left you. How did you feel? Shattered, Henry. For weeks, I just cried and cried. Really? I'd done nothing to deserve it, and yet I was totally abandoned. Well, presumably, old father time heals all wounds. No, I still feel totally wretched. If you're a 45-year-old divorcee, nobody is interested. You're totally on the scrap heap. Yes, Lizzie, but on the other hand, you are a self-pitying whinger. <laughs> Sorry? Well, you might be. Hands up all those men here who wouldn't touch Leslie with a barge pole. <laughs> you see what you bring on yourself, Leslie? Let's be honest, you need a bit of personality if you have a face like the back end of a basset hound. Uh, I'm not sure Henry's quite got the knack of this one yet. Well, just as well we're not broadcasting live. Come on, let's go and stop it. And hands up all those who think Peter's a pillar too. <laughs> Oh, stop blabbing, woman, and vote. Henry! <laughs> We've stopped. Oh, thank God for that! Never want to do this pathetic populist pap in the first place. Henry, television is no longer a corner store. It's a hyper-mega market. And if we want Connie Consumer to slip her hand in the freezer cabinet and pull us out, we've got to be the frozen peas with a nice picture on the front and a 10% off coupon. Hands up all those who couldn't understand a bloody word of that. <laughs>